In today's quick video, I want to show you how I clarify and deep condition my hair, what I use, and the products and tools that I use to accomplish this. The first thing that I use is my Kinky Curly Come Clean Natural Moisturizing Shampoo. The shampoo is sulfate-free, pH balanced, and adds shine and moisture. This is really great for buildup reduction. So if you get a lot of buildup in your hair, I have low porosity hair, so my hair builds up with product very, very easily. It just kind of sits on the scalp and just weighs down my hair. So I like to do a clarifying every week or every other week. I can't really go any longer than that or my hair will start to get very weighed down and just feel very, um, not greasy, but it just tell that there's product in the hair and you just can't get it out with a regular everyday shampoo. So I like to use this as a clarifying shampoo. This shampoo has a really nice lemony smell, but it also has a really good lather. What I do is make sure the hair is fully drenched and wet and then put a little bit amount of the shampoo, maybe like a quarter size amount on your palms, rub it through and then just put it on your scalp and start massaging away using the tips of your fingers and not your nails. You don't want to break any of the hair or damage it by cutting it or digging too deep into the scalp. You want to be gentle, just use your fingertips. Um, the soft part of your fingers or if you have one of those like rubber brushes I'll link a picture on the screen if I can find it. I definitely want to get one for um, Doing these deep cleansing. I feel like it's really good to um, Stimulate the roots and just help with growth and also just give yourself a little bit of a massage So it's kind of a win-win But just make sure that you have enough to lather up your scalp But also work on the ends of your hair as well Of course the buildup is going to be more towards the scalp, but everyone's different um, For me, I like to make sure that I just have a good amount of lather around my scalp and then to sort of work on the ends and try to get all the product out that I can. Once you are done shampooing, you can go ahead and just rinse it all out. It will feel squeaky clean as they call it. It will feel like the oils and everything has been stripped from your hair because it is stripping everything from your hair, but it's doing it in a soft, gentle way. Um, it's one of those shampoos that says you can use it every day. Um, me personally, I wouldn't use it every day. I don't want to strip all the natural oils over and over and over again. Uh, but I do like to use this once a week or every other week just to get all the buildup out of the hair and just feel that squeaky cleanness and then put a nice deep conditioner in to give that moisture back. So once all the shampoo has been rinsed out of the hair, everything is just out and you just have water in. For me, this is just a personal thing. I like to make sure my hair is fully detangled before I, before I put in my deep conditioner. So I'll take any old conditioner, make sure it is curly girl friendly of course, um, and just put a little bit on the ends of your hair so there is a nice slip so that you are able to finger detangle. I also have recommendations for detangling in the shower just on an everyday basis, whenever you shower or if you actually like to detangle before you put in a deep conditioner. So my favorite is actually the Wet Brush Pro. This one is an awesome brush. It is very, very flexible and the bristles on here are nicely separated but they're also very flimsy. So when it gets to a knot, it's going to work its way softly through as you brush it um, but it won't pull any knots and your hair won't like get pulled out. So this is a very, very gentle way uh, to brush your hair or sort of like comb it in the shower. Before I found out about the wet brush, I actually use the tangle teaser very, very often. I don't have like super intense tangles, but I do have enough for finger detangling, just isn't enough for me. So I need something a little bit like backup to get all the tangles out of my hair. So this is the tangle teaser. I love the tangle teaser because it also is separated very nicely. The bristles aren't very compact. They're very rounded on the top. There's no pulling involved. They're also kind of soft and there's different levels in the bristles themselves. So as your hair is being combed, it's going through the different levels and you're able to work through the tangles. If you're not into brushes or detangling with a brush in the shower, I also recommend getting anything like this, like a wide tooth comb. You can get them at Sally's, Walmart, Target, CVS, really anywhere that they carry combs, just anything that has a nice wide separation. It's really great to distribute conditioner um, in the shower, af a shower after my hair is fully detangled. That's just my preference. I like to make sure everything is fully, fully detangled, like a nice slip. Um, so I'll use this if I'm just like looking for a nice head massage as I'm waiting for my conditioner to kind of gather in throughout my hair. I will use a wide tooth comb, so I always recommend having this on hand. I also want to recommend the Denman brush. Do not use this to detangle your hair. I want to make that as loud as possible because I see people wanting to use the Denman brush um, for styling, but do not use it 
to detangle your hair. If you're gonna use the Denman brush, I'll link the video down below, I show you how I use the Denman brush, but always, always make sure that you detangle with your fingers or a wet brush or anything that you can before you use a styling brush. This brush is made for styling. It's made to go smoothly through your hair to create clumps, but these bristles are so packed together, it's almost like a, one of those dense combs, and there's so many and they're, they're solid, bristles. So if you're going to run this through your hair, and especially when it's not detangled, you're going to end up pulling your hair, you're going to pull your hair out, it's not going to be comfortable, you're not going to be happy, your hair's not going to be happy. So if you brush your hair in the shower, do not use a Denman brush. If you brush your hair dry, do not use a Denman brush. Don't use a Denman brush to brush your hair. I just I just want to make that so clear for everyone so that you do not harm your hair in any way. Okay, so once you are done detangling, rinse all the conditioner out of your hair because a regular conditioner will not help you get moisture back in your hair after you clarify. You need to use some sort of deep conditioner, something that's going to give a full amount of like strong moisture and uh, solid oils back to the hair. Currently, I'm using something that is a little more on the pricey side. This is the DP Hue Apple Cider Vinegar Hair Mask. I love, love, love this deep conditioner. It's a $45 condi deep conditioner, um, but I really, really love it. I actually got this as sort of like a sample. It was given to me um, to try out and I have been using it and I absolutely love it. The consistency is a very thick cream and I've used this probably 10, 15 times and I'm barely at the bottom. You don't use a whole lot because it is a thicker mask. You don't need a whole lot to cover the hair. Even if you have a lot of hair, you don't need a lot because it is so intense. It does contain waxes and oils, the good ones. It does contain a coconut oil and an avocado oil. And it does have humunctants, which um, absorb moisture and keep moisture balance in the hair and skin, which is the panthenol, which is vitamin, vitamin B5. Other great things about this one is that it is sulfate free, silicone free, paraben free, gluten-free, cruelty-free, and it is color safe. So now we're on to the part, I usually actually do this all in the shower. I will shampoo, detangle with a little bit of conditioner, rinse it out, and then apply my mask all in the shower before I come out. But right now my hair is completely just drenched and there's nothing left in it. It does feel stripped of all its oils, it does feel kind of dry. Um, but it is nice and damp. This kind of took out a little bit of the water, but usually I will just like squeeze out my hair in the shower and then just apply my mask. So it really doesn't matter how much water you have in your hair, but I'd recommend not having too much. So one of the reasons I like to detangle before I actually put in a deep conditioner is because when I go to separate my hair or put in the uh, deep conditioner, your hair can get really knotted because it does feel so dry. So that's why I like to do it. So now my hair feels like it's still, it's not like, extremely smooth, but it's enough that I can put my hair up and nothing is going to snag or I'm not going to pull my hair because it's so knotted. Okay, so nothing fancy. I'm just going to take a little bit, smooth it around my hands and just rake in the product. It is a very fragrancy though. That's the only thing about this um, deep conditioner. It is so fragrancy. Like, I don't even know how to describe it. It almost smells like a, like an intense cologne. If you're ever in an Ulta, I've seen them in Ulta, um, I'll have to see where else they carry this brand, but if you're ever in Ulta and you see DP Hue, go and give it a smell. It's a really good deep conditioner, but the smell is really intense. So you just have to make sure that you're okay with having an intense smell and it'll stay on your hair for a while. So maybe like a day or so until it wears away or until you have your next wash. And these little shark clips are awesome. I got a pack of three at CVS. You see them in salons a lot and you're like, those are pretty cool. They actually hold your hair so well. And I was like, I need to get a pack for myself because most of the time I'll just use like hair clips and they don't really hold the hair that much. But these little guys are so intense and they don't pull or snag your hair, but they really hold your hair nicely. And another reason I like to, I like to detangle is doing this type of thing. If my hair is fully um, knotted and so dry, it, it, my hair would be pulled and I can't put all the moisture and deep conditioner in my hair around all around my hair because it'll just get caught. So that's one reason I like to detangle before I put in deep conditioners because I can get all of my hair right now and I don't have to worry about it pulling or you know, anything like that. I can get the deep conditioner on all of the hair. And not necessarily that my hair really needs it, but my hair is bleached on the ends um, and it's not really dry, but 
Because I like to keep my hair super moisturized and bleached hair is more dry than usual, I like to put a little bit more just on the ends um, for good measure before I put it up. Okay, so now my hair is filled with deep conditioner. So at this point, I like to put my hair up in a shower cap. Nothing fancy, <laughs> something real cheap. And I will put it around my whole head like so. And then here, I like to make sure the warmth stays a lot in my hair to open up the cuticles because my hair is so low porosity, the cuticles are just laying down flat and doesn't allow the moisture to get in the hair. So I like to keep as much heat as I can. So I'm actually going to take this little thing I was wearing earlier. This is what it looks like. Your head goes here and then it twists and there's a little button on the front and it comes back and clips it. So I am going to put this on over top to keep more of the heat from my actual head back into my hair to keep my follicles open so the moisture can penetrate. A lot of people I've seen have used a heat cap. I will link it down below that people recommend. Personally, I've never used one myself. It's one that you can put in the microwave for however long it says and then it sort of keeps like the heat on your head um, but for me this works just fine but I will link that down below for you if you want to check it out I have just never personally used it myself but this is the full process I will wait and keep this here for 20 to 30 minutes depending on what I'm doing not any more than that I feel like my hair really doesn't need to stay in a mask that long you really don't need to if it doesn't work within 20 to 30 minutes you might want to try a different mask my opinion so it's been about 30 minutes. I just took my hair out of the wrap and it feels so soft. Um, at this point, I am just going to rinse it out completely and I'm going to just go on with my weekend. Um, for the most part, once you deep condition or <laughs> once you clarify with the shampoo and then you do a deep conditioner, if you want to go on with your day, just do a regular leave-in and your products. You know, there's no need to uh, do shampoo again like a regular clarifying or like a co-wash or anything like that. Your hair is great and it has conditioner and it's moisturized so you can put in a deep conditioner um, and then do your products or whatever you'd like to do but from here you don't need to do another uh, wash with your hair or anything because your hair is really dry. Just make sure that you rinse this out um, because you don't want the deep conditioner to get your hair too moisturized, it become really soggy, your hair can get really, really limp and just lose all curl type. So just make sure that you completely rinse out your deep conditioner and then you can do whatever you'd like with your hair. Um, that is all I have for this video. If you found it helpful, I would love it if you would give this video a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below for every and all videos. Make sure you hit the bell for notifications for every time that I upload. I hope you have an amazing day and I will see you in my next video. Bye!